All right, so now we're going to explore the uh, symmetry case, and we're doing something like uh, horizontal symmetry, and it's showing us the symmetry line here. And for this, I'm going to use a different brush. Uh, I'm going to use one that's a little bit more uh, predictable, less smeary, just so we get a clear idea of what's going on. Let's take the large airbrush. That's actually your default brush. Uh, or one thing you could do here in the brush settings, um, if you pin this down to keep it, uh, one another type of brush is the algorithmic, uh, the anti-aliased algorithmic pen. All right, so as you draw with this, um, you see the same thing. It looks like the same thing, as if it was a symmetrical copy. But if you if you look a little bit closer, uh, perhaps let's make the size a little bit smaller. There you go, and increase the step distance. There it is. Um, you'll you'll start seeing these dabs, and they are not the same left to right. All right. So it randomly picks a few to draw on the right side, and then a few on the left side. And depending on the setting and the brush and the speed of the drawing, it might look very different from one side to the other. All right. It's like it's getting none of the here on this side. But you can draw on either side. You can draw on the left side or on the right side. So you can do a little bit here, and then come back here. And it's giving you the benefit on the other side here too. And then you can go, um, you know, draw a few more. And, and, and so the beauty of this is that it's, it's, it's giving you a bit more of that creative freedom to make it different from the left side to the right side. Uh, it's, it's helping you in terms of the time uh, it takes to draw the whole thing. It's going to be reduced in time. But it's, it's definitely also going to give you uh, something that's a little bit more unique and doesn't look too much like a mirror copy. If you want it to look like it was perhaps painted by hand on both sides of the symmetry line, then that would be the way to go. Right? And you can go here and finish it up. Right? And there you go. So um, that's the symmetry mode, and there is one more uh, type that we can certainly also explore, um, and that would be the kaleidoscope mode. And uh, let's say we're doing a six-fold kaleidoscope. So we see six lines here, and we're drawing out along this path, and you see this thing happening there. Now this time I'm going to go back to a smear brush. Let's do the oil, uh, totally oil again and hit spacebar to get a different color. And so as you're drawing along that, you're, you'll see some interesting kaleidoscope type uh, features coming out. And certainly the octopus is no longer a special feature with eight legs. Now here we have 20, 30 or 40 legs in a heartbeat. Um, let's see if we go to a lighter color, like uh, maybe some like pink, something like this. And then some even lighter. There you go. All right, so uh, hopefully that'll give you some ideas of uh, some other things to explore and try. Um, we have seen um, right here the kaleidoscope. We have seen um, symmetry mode. And we have seen a mirror, which you can also combine. I mean, after you've done this, uh, you can go to a vertical mirror and it flips it upside down. Uh, you can go also to a horizontal mirror and flips this sideways as well. So you know you have a, a lot of ways to further explore combinations of these uh, into a very non-linear combination of the two. All right. Uh, hopefully this will inspire you to try a few new things. Um, wanted to uh, perhaps finish up here with one more example. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to actually show you. Let's do this. Let's just have only the mirror mode horizontal mirror um, and no kaleidoscope so let's go and uncheck that uh, or let's just clear it all together there clear and go to horizontal mirror what I wanted to do is one more and that's a combination of the regular brush um, something like the pastel or the rake or the even the oils with the, with the totally oil um, any of these in symmetry mode but actually using the uh, curve tool Right. So with the curve tool, um, you have uh, even other 
even more ways to draw. You see this curve that I'm building, and then you know you can go here and click it to render it there, finish it uh, there, finish. Right, so it's drawing along that, but now it's doing the symmetry thing on top of that. All right, so let's go and uh, make sure that we have perhaps the curve only on the right side of the symmetry line. Remember, the symmetry line goes down here along the middle. So I'm going to go a curve, <clears throat> something like this. Maybe that'll be the basic shape of my uh, skull. And I don't want to close it, so let's go and open that. I think there's an option here. And now go and finish it along that. So if I... Oh, I must have probably... Well, let's see, that's odd. Doesn't look like I'm finishing it here. I could fill it. Oh, that's another option. Um, I'm not sure why I'm not finishing it here with the smear tool. Oh, there it is. All right, so... Um, and every time that you re-render it, maybe a different brush might be a little bit easier to recognize. Let's use a um, medium airbrush there. And use a different color, blue and um, go back to the curve tool and there you go all right so <laughs> drawing with this and enabling the symmetry is uh, opening up another universe of possibilities but i wanted to show you even more because right now the line stays at its current size i don't have a tablet i cannot control the thickness of the line with the curve tool or with the uh, with the pressure, I don't have the pressure. The mouse does not recognize the pressure. So if I finish this up, it's always the same line. And what I'd really like to do is have it simulate the tablet. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, instead of having to create these curves and then click over here for finish, right? One way you could do that instead is to use the second finish mode instead of this one here, right? This one says stroke a brush along the path. This one here is paint a brush along the path. And what that one does is it mimics the pressure. So as, as if I came in slowly and softly with the tablet and then went to a higher pressure level and then back to less. So that's the first step to understand what I'm going to do. Um, the size is uh, currently at 50. Let's see if we can go up to higher size and do this uh, finish up again. Oops, let's get this point back up here where it belongs and uh, finish there. So now you have this idea here, right? So a new, a new brush stroke might be something going like this and uh, render it there. Now let's say we have a brush stroke that starts from, uh, let's go clear this and start from outside, uh, from, from the visible part. This right half is where we will see things, but then we cross over the central line and then we go back into here, right? And let's see what happens here. Well, it's rendering this and it's mirroring it. But then whenever here it's drawing along this path, nothing's being rendered. And then here it's coming back into the visible territory of the symmetry mode or of the, the mirror mode. And, and so we have a, a perfect copy, uh, a symmetrical shape there, right? Uh, a per perfect mirror copy. So what I'd want to do is one more thing, and that's to not have to go back and forth to this button click here. It'd be nice if I could draw something, let's say, you know, go here, and actually not have to click, 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 but rather just drag it along there and have automatically, at the end of that, have it automatically render my curve. Uh, and we can do that actually with one of those modes, the freehand draw curve, right? When you do the freehand, right, there's the curve, but it's not quite done yet. One more thing we need is for it to actually go and freely draw it without waiting for us to click here. So right now it's still waiting for that. Or you could do this and then say click. Now to what we want. What I want to do is to say, okay, there's one, go draw it automatically the moment I, left, I, I release my mouse button. Well, <clears throat> this is how you do that. You have an option for automatic and right? auto mode. And there's two actually. It's either this one here, stroke a brush, or it's this one here, draw or paint a brush. And it's doing that in automatic mode. So if you do the stroke a brush, then the moment you let go, boom, it's done. Let go, done. Let go, done. All right, so that's one mode. And the other auto mode is, of course, the one we really were hoping for automatically paint the brush along the path. So look at that. 
and here it's still simulating that uh, brush pressure to give you a style which is rather unique because it enables a lot of new features. Um, you could go, for instance, do some little ears and do all sorts of really funky shapes with that. Do some lips, um, do some nose, do some eyes, eyelids, snake pupils, something like that. Uh, yep, that's it. Uh, you know, it's a, it's another type of brush, another type of combination of brush and uh, or, or drawing style, and um, certainly has a lot of possibilities in and of itself. I uh, wanted to share that with you. Uh, it's called the mirror mode, together with the um, uh, curve tool. Uh, together in a particular mode called the automatic mode with uh, painting the brush along the path and that's that for now thanks for watching